Hi, this is a prophecy for my friend Joshua. So Joshua, I'm going to try doing a round 15 to 20 one minute prophecy for you. See how I go. Uh, speaking from the Father's heart. So, my son Joshua, my son Joshua, oh my son Joshua, how I love you, how I have chosen you from the beginning of the world. From the beginning of the earth, I have chosen you and I have not cast you aside. I have not turned my face away from you uh, because I have said you are my David. You are my Goliath slayer. You are a one who will end tyranny on this earth that in many lives um, you will slay the enemy in the lives of many people around you because you have been chosen to slay giants on behalf of many on behalf of those you look after those you take care of those you reach out to yes I'm going to cause you to stand in the gap for those people I'm going to cause you to stand in the gap and not only intercede but come in the spirit and slay those Goliaths that are coming against those lives that I have anointed that I have chosen and yet have not yet received me and as they are in the process of coming to me as a, they are in the process of coming to salvation to coming to that place where they abide in me so I will use you my son to keep them out of the grip of the enemy to keep them away uh, from those who would harm them and so I would cause you to see in the spirit to see ahead of time what is coming and to pray and intercede and then I will take you into the spiritual realm and you will take down those giants you will take down those things that are coming against your friends your family members yes you will have the ability to see in the spirit you will have that seer ability you will have that taste of the Lord and you will taste and see that the Lord is good in the land of the living yes you shall see a harvest in the land of the living and yes there is that verse that says he who goes out weeping carrying seeds to sow will come back rejoicing carrying sheaves with him and you have worked in the harvest field even with limited knowledge with a limited understanding you have walked forth because of zeal for my kingdom because of love for me you have stepped out and you have reached out to people and so I'm going to teach you my son I'm going to teach you what you need to know I'm going to bring mentors and teachers into your life to help you come to the place that you need to come in this season to be prepared for all that I'm calling you to do this season my son so do not be afraid of the task ahead of you for what um, you are coming to uh, what you have been through is even it was more difficult than what uh, you are coming into now for now is a season of refreshing now is a season of reward when I'm saying well done my son well done my good and faithful servant Joshua well done for you have been faithful and little and so I will make you ruler over many things and just as the um, the servants were given the talents of gold and um, some of them multiplied um, back and some buried them in the ground so my son even with limited te teaching and with with limited knowledge you have poured everything into what I have given you what I have put in your hand you have used and you have stepped forward in my anointing and in my power yes my son my anointing has been with you everywhere you have gone uh, you have not always felt my power or my anointing and you have felt or even thought to yourself I have gone in here alone I am here alone and there's no one to help me and I don't know what what to do well I want you to know my son that I have been speaking to you even in those dark hours even in those dark hours where 
you have felt like you were a failure, where you felt like that you have been displeasing to me, nothing but the lies of the enemy, nothing but lies, for you are a son who pleases me, you are my David, you are my David anointed to take down Goliath, not only in your own life but in the lives of others. So do not break faith. Do not break covenant with the God uh, of your faith. Trust in me. Continue to trust in me. Even when it seems there is not a harvest or the harvest didn't come when you expected it, when you were wanting a flood full and a harvest full of souls, when you were wanting to pe see people come to me, you don't realize that those seeds you planted, those seeds that you will continue to water, my son will reap a harvest in due season as I use other people, other prophets, other evangelists to speak um, my word and my life into those souls that you have spoken into they needed to hear what you had to say and to complete the puzzle and to complete the jigsaw um, they need to hear something else from someone else uh, before they are ready to bring and give their life to me so don't be dismayed and don't be disheartened uh, don't be discouraged my son because I have great things coming for you do not think that I do not notice what you have been doing do not think that I will not reward you uh, for your steps of faith and your steps of obedience for love has come to your house this day my son I walk into your house this day my son in my royal robes and I place a crown on your head and I give you a scepter for your right hand for you will rule and reign with me and you are ruling and reigning with me um, as you are seated in the heavenly realms as you are seated and walking on this earth no that you have a dual presence in both places. Know that out of darkness comes the light. Know that after a season of weeping, there comes joy in the morning. Know that out of the darkness comes my light. Know that I'm pursuing you, my son. In the areas that you are keeping back from me, the areas that you are holding back from me for fear that I will reject you, I'm going to start to encourage you, my son, to bring those things forth, those things you're afraid to talk to me about, those things that need to be aired and shared with me. For I am a trustworthy father. I am not a father who rejects um, my children because of things they do say, think, or feel. Just know, my son, that there is nothing, no temptation that has seized man, yet that which is common to man. And just know that as uh, my son walked on this earth, he suffered all things. He came amongst all trials and all temptations and he sinned not. And I want you to know, my son, that I have a place for you, that there is a strength, a, a place that you can go to uh, in every trial that you walk through, in every situation that comes across your path. I want to hide you in the cleft of the rock. Yes, I want you to, to hide you in that secret place. I want to hide you in a place where you will feel secure in the hard seasons and the tough seasons, in the times of extreme stress, in the times when you say, Papa God, I don't know if I can keep going. I don't know if I can keep walking. I don't know if I've got what it takes to walk this walk of faith, to run this race uh, for Jesus. It is then, my son, that I want you to come to me, not run away from me because you think you can't do it, for it is then that I pour out my love to you. It is then that I bring help into your life. It is then that I put people around you that can help you get to the place where you need to get. So don't be afraid of the many um, situations around you, the opposition that comes around you, even the mockery that comes around you, the shame that people try and place upon you. For you are no child of shame. You are no orphan. You are my son. You are the son, the, the son after my own heart. 
So when people mock you, when people come against you, know my son that you are being honored in my sight and know that I will seat you at a table and anoint you with oil in the presence of your enemies and they will have to say and come before me that I have known you and that I have loved you and that I am your father who rewards the good works that you do the works and the things you do for me the things you say for me the way you speak out for me the way you are not afraid to share your faith um, many others hide their light under a bushel many are afraid to say that they follow me but you my son you are a light you are a light and you do beam for me like a flashlight or like a lighthouse that shows ships the way and it may seem to you like the ships that you are trying to show the way those unsaved people that you are talking to it may seem like they don't want to hear from you they're not interested they are shunning but you but believe me in their heart they are listening believe me in their heart they are responded responding so don't be put off by the outward appearance uh, don't be put off by seeming rejection because actually those things that, that um, you are saying to them though for the sake of, of their peers around them and for saving face they may appear to mock you they may appear to reject you deep down they are going down going back home and they are thinking about things those things you said they are meditating upon those things uh, they are saying to themselves this man is not afraid to say who he is and what he believes I think this there's something about this God because this man Joshua has something about him that is bold something about him that is courageous that I want he wasn't afraid to be laughed at in front of my friends he wasn't afraid to say what he believed when it wasn't popular and that is what they are saying in their hearts and you don't see that my son but I see that and I know that uh, what you're doing and saying is having an effect and those seeds you plant and water um, I am keeping safe I am not allowing the enemy to steal those seeds that you plant because you have been faithful I am honoring the seeds you plant and I'm keeping them safe yes I'm keeping them safe because um, you have been faithful and I am honoring you because you have been faithful so do not be afraid my son do not be ashamed to reach out to me and talk to me about the secret things the hidden things of your heart do not be afraid to open up in all the areas that I um, want to, to clear out and clean up and uh, bring freedom into your life bring healing into your life for everyone needs cleansing everyone needs healing and anyone that says that they are perfect and that they don't is a liar before me every Christian I require to come to me for cleansing for healing and to open up the areas of their heart that they have closed off every single person watching this video has areas in their heart that they are keeping hidden from me that they are um, clo have closed before me and I would say to every one of those people open up those places in your heart as I would say to you my son Joshua if you want to find your freedom if you want to have those places in your heart cleared out so I can fill them with my power and fill those places in your heart with my glory that my love and my glory would be able to come forth uh, from you in an even greater measure and yes this has been a season of sewing um, <clears throat> but coming is a season of dancing yes coming is a season of dancing and rejoicing for I am bringing the breakthrough in your life where things have been difficult where things have been seasoned they've been tough they've been hard I'm going to bring a new life I'm going to bring a new ease I'm going to bring new hope for you um, I'm going to bring dancing 
where there was grieving. I'm going to bring success where there was mourning, where there was feeling of failure. I'm going to cause you to succeed at things that you felt you've failed at in the past. Things where you felt you've missed the mark. Things even that you've wanted to do that you've felt you've missed out on or you've been left out in some ways. My son, I have not forgotten you. I'm calling you forth. I'm calling you out. And as I bring these teachers and mentors around you, learn from them and learn my ways. Apply yourself and learn and be open-minded. Be teachable, be open, and be ready to receive all that I'm going to teach you. For this is an hour where I will extend your skills I will extend you and I will stretch you like a rubber band uh, because you have been longing to be used by me in a greater measure you have longed for wisdom you have longed for understanding and knowledge especially in the spiritual things and I have seen your hearts cry I have seen your hearts desires and I am going to fulfill that longing because hope deferred makes the heart sick, but longing fulfilled is a tree of life. And I'm going to give you that tree of life, my son. I'm going to bring you those people, those books, those resources, those teachings. I'm going to lead you by my spirit. Um, I'm going to show you those places on the internet where what you are wanting to find about those missing pieces in the puzzle of things you just couldn't quite grasp you couldn't quite understand but you've sensed how important it is to be able to understand those things I'm going to lead you to teachers that will be able to teach you things of the spirit things of the prophetic things of my kingdom that you haven't been able to grasp before those things that have seemed unable to be understood by you that have seemed too complex um, are actually going to come now uh, with ease uh, there's not going to be so much struggle there's not going to be that confusion in your mind that kind of darkness that twirling that blockage that comes in your mind for I'm going to open up those areas in your brain where the enemy has tried to bring blockage to shut you down yes I'm bringing healing in the mind where there has been scattered thought patterns and when where there has been thought blockages I am unplugging those places I am pulling out the stop gaps I am opening doors uh, in your mind where the enemy has tried to shut and lock and bar those areas I am um, unlocking and removing the chains so that you will be able to perceive and understand listen and take in what I am teaching you and as it goes into your mind it will seep deep into your heart deep into your spirit and once you've got it my son once you understand these things of the spirit these things of the kingdom you will not forget you will not forget what I have shown you you will not forget what I have told you because it will be so deep and in your spirit it will be a very part of you it will actually be a part of your being you will actually have spiritual knowledge and spiritual understanding as part of your very being it's not like knowing knowledge and, and storing it in your head and then splurging it out and writing it out for an examination it's not like knowledge that is just something you've memorized but this is something that you know deep within your heart that you know um, is truth and that it's not only something you know but it's something you speak you live you say and that comes out of your very pores it comes out of the very essence of you so don't be concerned about the darkness you feel around you or within you because I'm coming to shine the light I'm coming to shine the light and remove those cobwebs to remove that darkness to remove the place where the enemy has come in and I'm setting up my holy place within you yes I am setting up my holy altar within you um, and I'm pouring down my glory oil yes I'm pouring my glory oil down you like oil ran down Aaron's beard yes I'm anointing you for the ministry. I am anointing you for service for the kingdom. I'm anointing you to do great and mighty exploits for me, my David, my David who slays those Goliaths. Yes, my son, 
I have seen you and I know you. I know you well. I know you through and through. And there's nothing about you. There's nothing that you could do or say that would make me reject you. Because you are my son. You are my very blood. You came from me. I created you. I formed you. You are a part of me. You are a very part of me. I do not reject my children. I do not reject those whom I love who are faithful to me. So just know this, my son. You will always be my son. You will always be my child. And watch as I stretch you this season. Watch as I teach you this season. Watch as I bring things into alignment in your life. Watch as I give you new hope in areas where there was no hope. Watch as I turn your mourning into dancing and give you the oil of gladness instead of a spirit of despair. don't know if I got that right. So just trust me, my son. Just trust me and know that I'm doing a new thing this season. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wilderness. Do not be afraid. Do not step back in fear for I am moving you forward. I am advancing you forward with big steps, with great steps. I am stretching you and I'm extending you and I'm teaching you things in this hour that will become a very part of you, that you will be part of your spirit part of your soul, part of your very being, things that you will be given which you will not lose, which you will take to heaven with you and no demon in hell or man will be able to take away from you. I love you my son. So there you are Joshua, there's your prophecy, uh, video prophecy for you. Um, yeah these are 80 New Zealand dollars. Um, I think it's about 50 US dollars. Um, yeah, so if you um, want one of these, just um, look at that. My email will be in the description tag below this video. I hope you've enjoyed this prophecy, Joshua, and bless you, and thank you for supporting my ministry. Bye.